Up as well. Great Spears Refuge, so we'll keep him alive for the time oh, being. Oh. Can't get the damage down. Impact survives in the top lane. This is what Predator is ready for Smithy. Flash away from Uzi straight away, but there's the suppression. Teleport coming in from Lemmy to try and counteract this. Zhao Hu's going to join got him as well already. They've got one though. Ming able to get underneath the tower. There's Lemmy. Impact gets it. Zhao Hu now in a 2v5 with Lemmy. Impact tanking up the tower, but here's the Hema play from Bo Belter and Team Liquid are turning it around on day three. They're winning these early skirmishes. They're getting the kills they want. Oh, low as well. Teleport's gonna come in straight away. That's the paranoia as well. Pop on LXG. Ole is in the wrong position, and RNG find the team fight. They want a double jump on the back line as well. And RNG have found the perfect opportunity to collapse on Team Liquid. Pole Belter goes golden, but he goes back to Fountain. This lead's landed on X Smithy. RNG still on it though. X Smithy could steal across the wall with the blast cone. He's gonna jump in the oh! oh! And X Smithy gets it! And Team Liquid are able to get out as well. Impact survives. Double it survives and Team Liquid survive in this game. Are you kidding me? My heart the insurance on the Makuro Scimitar already. King's gonna engage straight on towards X Smithy. He's called out, he's locked down as well. Here's the corner of the Forge God looking for connection on the double. The Featherstorm comes out as well. Who the stand united? He will get two, but he goes down in the end. Oh, now it's on Pope Bell to the Hema Blake on the side. That is a very dead Uzi. Let me has to run for the wins here. Has the blast code to knock himself into the pit. Me, Team Liquid can see him now as well because he's one of us. <laughs> Maybe he should have oh. just not. Very healthy here. Double lift is still getting the Nexus Towers down. Team Liquid so close to the win. The binder connects. And once again, double lift takes down his opposite man. We can clean out the rest of these kills. Team Liquid, they've done it. One Nexus Tower between them and the win here. One Nexus Tower between them and their first win at an international tournament. Their first win at MSI. The hope is alive as Team Liquid take down RNG. As you can see, though, when they take off the headsets, as well. Hit a sang with the flashboard on towards Slay, trying to burn those summoners early. And once again, it's a Zaya against a Fnatic, and it's a Zaya that is dead at level one. What a Crazy! But from Soez as well, looking for that unstoppable onslaught. Hillisang jumps in once again. Rono P not stunned up, will get away. So Soez! Comes the unstoppable Soez, dodging around, forcing Slay up. No reaction yet from Warzone. He can't come back down and join his team. Slay knocked up with the axe. Broxer takes him out with the club. Oh, and oh baby! He flashes in the Hemo Plague, but Caps are off because he falls underneath the tower. He Eugen's going in, has the blast go round towards the side. The engage on towards Rono P. That's one down, but Eugen can still re-engage this with the blast cone if he can get there. Hillisang stands in the flash. The damage on Brox is so low, they get the Baron Eugen unable to get in the pit. Oh, the oh, now it goes in! That's not where you want to be at all, Eugen! You know that saying, better late than never? Already on the inhibitor in that bottom lane. Here comes the rest of Evos. The Baron down, the charm comes out, but Caps on, flares up. Caps gets the kill on Ron OP. Inhibitor falls, the Baron goes down to Fnatic. They need to get back though, because Stark is looking with the pillar as well. Stark gonna get knocked up by the axe. The redemption comes out as well with the Starax. The healing, the redemption, the Hemo. Is it enough from Fnatic to kill? The He's still alive. Stark still alive, but eventually he falls and Ron OP then has to flash away, trying to dodge away towards Yijin as well. But that's a double for Caps. Yijin, the new target here for Fnatic as they look to close this one out. Slay low, caught out towards the top side. Reckless there as well. They're gonna continue pushing here. Baron up. Power Fnatic is a quad drop for Fnatic. But Reckless steals the Penta. The reverse of yesterday. Reckless says that one's mine. That one's for yesterday. And Fnatic will eventually close out the game. They'll take down the Nexus Towers and they'll take themselves to three and two at MSI. Finally, they found a way to punish the top laner stock finally caught by a good teleport. Oh yeah, is she the one? Mobility boots also completed. Right. Oh, there we go. Right. Caught out in the front line. Managed to get healed with a wild growth, but that is first blood to Mujin. And to Mega has the blast cone. Can look for the knock into the wall. That's exactly what he's going to do. But a great devour from Swordite keeps his AD carry. Oh, Whoa! Gets away. Yasuo in the front line gets two. And it's a great fight for Flash Wolves. King Zone are dethroned here by the Flash Wolves. It's four for none. That's 
gonna be the bear, and they can, oh, they can even take Infernal Drake on the way. Hanabi, there's the Nami, but in towards the side of the great pillar will separate him from the fight. Hanabi trying to dodge around, gets the last breath onto Peanut. There's a hero's entrance as well. Eventually, Hanabi falls, and now Maple not in the best of spots, but Betty's on his way. The killer instinct from Prey onto Maple. Mujin kills Gorilla off towards the backside, and now Kingstones are the one who have to run away because Mujin is hungry for kills. Can't try to trade into him. Mujin eventually. Yes. Maple stepping forward, a great double taunt. Mujin coming in from the side as well, and already Gorilla is down. Prey jumps in with the killer instinct. It's all on him. It's all on time. The knockback. Can King Zone somehow revive this game? Betty jumped on. He didn't need it. Kills him. Hero's entrance as well. And now King Zone have been able to force Flash Wolves back. Some heroic team fighting there. A huge move by Betty to flash in and assassinate Betty. As surprised as Gorilla dying with Oldar. But Mujin, he's caught as well. That's going to be the Guardian Angel down. And they should get the kill right afterwards. This is with an Ocean Drake up and 54 seconds left on Baron. King Zone, here we go, though. Stuff so dies real fast. Quickly, that falls. Mujin's in the midst of it. Oh, the Hero's entrance. Look for the last breath knockup. Can't quite connect. Elder Dragon falls, though. And now Flash Wolves can try and take this fight. They're going in. Oh, man. Torn from Maple. And once again, the mid lane steps up. Betty says, oh, no, you don't to King Zone. No time is you say for King Zone. They started up the Baron down to 3,000 HP. The Nar misses off to Mujin. The Baron is going to fall. It goes to Gorilla. But can Flash Wolves take the fight to King Zone? Somehow survive. Betty kills one in the back line. And Betty is just spitting out. Hell upon King Zone. A triple for him. Khan survives, but eventually he will fall as well. And Flash Wolves are going to go top of the group. That was three. There is no big comeback for King Zone. And Flash Wolves are your favorites for MSI. Flash Wolves, the King Zone Slayers. Five and oh. My mind. Still, I'm laying here. I'm gonna run into Xiao, who flash forward. The Rune Prison locks down Caps. Star Search will not find the stun, but there's enough damage. Brox is looking to chomp down Xiao, who Hellasan manages to zone away MLXG and Ming. First blood secured. Rocket Jump comes out from Reckless as MLXG defensively flashes away. Now on the re engage. That's one back for RNG. Fnatic bit off more than they can chew, and China fights back. The damage from MLXG gets him out of range of stun. The Voice of Light is still available for Caps. If Xiao, who goes low enough, he's gonna get. Burst it down! Caps unleashes the heavens! It's not done yet! Look at the top lane! Brox and Buipo looking at double team! Let me flash forward into a decimating smash! 200 HP pieces coming up! Left to burn through! Caps can come in! The Comet of Legend! He's flying high! Where's the Star Surge? Not gonna be used just yet! Popped at the end and one last hack! Fnatic take the lead! Activity boots fights on the bot side! It's not done yet! Reckless gets burst out by Uzi and Ming! The Gage shuts him down. Hillisang's running to the tower. He's gonna get burst out by the Featherstorm. Tries to get some CC down in reply, but to the middle lane. There's a lot of CC to come from. Rocket Jump, I think, even applied the slow. Winter's bite for the stun. Fnatic looks to even out the kill score, and it will be donated to Cap. Needs to save Fnatic. Teleport being channeled by Whipper from the base. He's gonna arrive in the fight. Pillar comes out from Broxer after the flash. The re-engage. Broxer chomps down Ming. Who's he stunned? He's gonna get chunked out as well. Reckless takes him down. Gets the reset. Has a rocket jump available. Jumps to the tower. Now Xiao who's the target. But it manages to equate to nothing. Teleport from Whippo. I can't quite see where he's going. The Celestial Expansion is tearing through RNG as Royal never give up are fading backwards. Damage onto Hillisang roots him down. The Rune Prison into the Overload secures the kill. But Caps is forced to run for his life. Whippo's got no flash available so he'll get turned into zombie mode. And Fnatic have lost. Brox are gonna try. No, he flashes it way too late. You're not gonna be able to escape there. Caps tries to get some damage. They are indeed the quickness is available to Ming. Look at the Voice of Light. It's chunking out MLXG. He's going away. Picked up by Fnatic. Now the fight needs to happen. Glacial Fisher comes down and Uzi gets knocked into the air. Fnatic are backing away. Minions are still pushing into their base. That's a root. That's a dead Blippo. He gets turned into zombie Scion mode and Fnatic are running for their lives. Keep your eyes on Reckless. He's caught. He's silenced. He's feasted. But he's not dead yet. Finally, Xiaohu takes him down. Royal never give up. The Quadra kill for Uzi and Fnatic are dumpstered. Royal never give up. Bounce back from an early game to take down Fnatic and own the head-to-head 2-0. -head and I cannot praise. Is she the one? The one you've been waiting for? Is she the one? The flash of the ignite, not done yet.
Little bit of a stun from Eugen. Managing to get some damage down. Continues to trade back and forth. Down to 100 HP. Defensive flash. First blood picked up by Evos. Already, but GP ult does. Oh, GP ult's available. Where is it? No ways. That's a double root. Managing to turn this around. Betty turns the 4v2 dive with the help of the cannon barrage. Warzone stuck behind enemy territory and will go down. Your first tower blood in Start every TV single in. one of their games. Eugene has found the flash impale. The tower will fall in the backside, but the call of the Forge God comes down. Will Evos win the team fight? The damage and the combo from the Flash Wolves is tearing Evos apart. The first victim is Eugene. Stark gets taken down as Mujin chomps him out. Hanabi's able to flash for safety, and look at that pillar of ice. It slows down three members of Evos. Ron OP get playing right now. Well, take a look at that. Eugene's going to bring the Impale back. Sauna takes a lot of damage. Enough for Eugene to close out. The Realm will send Warzone into the middle of the fray. And the target's Hanabi. He gets taken out. Call of the Forge got from behind. Evos will not go quietly into the night as they shut down Maple. That's the fourth of the fight. Killed on the side of Evos. The inhibitor may just go down. There's Sauna. Insta flash from Slay. Stock manages to get the Call of the Forge God down, but it's not going to be enough. The feathers fly. Called back by Betty. Stock will be forced. Falling after. The inhibitors, the next target is now Slay Flashless, gets run down. This is looking like an ace for Flash Wolves. The shutdown onto Warzone. Ron OP gets knocked up into the air. Flash Wolves are going to consider the dive under the Fountain Tower. Ron OP's healing up, manages to survive. Not long enough. It's an ace. Flash Wolves remain undefeated at 6 and 0. Flash Wolves take down Evos. Competitive through the early game, but it was Flash Wolves that take over in that mid game. Liquid. Weaver's wall hasn't been used yet. Ole doing his best to block the damage. He's the first to go down. Kingzone get first blood. Turn to double if the rend may just oh. be the final kill. No, it's a threaded volley. A Catch. Yeah, they come. Yeah, they come. Gorilla's going to deliver Peanut to double lift. And Ole flashes are up for the Team Liquid bottom lane. But here comes Khan. Hextech ultimatum is issued and double lift is already killed. Side lane, keep the pressure. But now they have mid priority and they're looking for a pick. Oh, the shove hurts so, so badly. Realm Wolf delivered into the mid lane. Whoa, that's a kill! Not the one I thought, though. It's only that goes down. Gorilla is chunked out as Prey flashes to safety. Pay Belter was looking for him. But let's fight. It is indeed. He's meant to force to flash the flash defensively. Khan's coming in from behind. Follow Prey Belter and double him. Double is going to get caught in with the Hextech ultimatum. Ole goes down. Double him follows. Nobody from King Zone dies. A flash over the wall from Gorilla. And it's uh, going to be a kill onto Impact with the Devour. We're playing in Team Liquid's face. And now they're looking for the base. That's the inhibitor turret. After there's a trade of kills, Prey has gone down the wrong direction. That's not what you want to see. The Glacial Fisher comes down and Team Liquid are routed. They're running away for their lives. The Hextech Ultimatum locks impact in place and the kill is not yet secured. The Nexus falls. King Zone have sole control of second. And a very dominant game. Oh